Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two pink shaded uh, squares. This uh, big uh, square A, E, C, F, and this uh, smaller square C, D, B, P, fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these uh, points uh, A and B are on this uh, semicircle and O is the center of this uh, semicircle and moreover the combined uh, area of these uh, two pink squares uh, has been given to us as uh, 54 square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region this area this uh, green area and this green area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, big pink square. Square means all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. I'm going to label all these uh, side lengths uh, as uh, lowercase a across the board. And likewise, I'm going to label uh, this uh, smaller square as uh, their length as lowercase b, lowercase b, lowercase b, and lowercase b across the board. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length of the square. Therefore, uh, the area of this uh, big pink uh, square, this one, is going to be a square. And likewise, uh, the area of this uh, small pink square is going to be b square so therefore this uh, total pink square area is going to be a square plus uh, b square and we know that this uh, total pink square area has been given to us uh, as 54 so therefore i am going to substitute this uh, total pink square area as 54 on the left hand side so therefore we can write this equation as a square plus b square is going to be equal to 54 and I'm going to label this uh, our equation number one and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, green shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, semicircle minus uh, the area of uh, this uh, pink uh, shaded area and now we know that our uh, pink shaded area has been given to us as uh, 54. So we can substitute this one over here. So therefore now our only task is uh, to calculate the area of this given uh, semicircle. And here is our next step. I have connected uh, these points uh, A and uh, C. And we got this uh, diagonal. And now we can see all uh, these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees each uh, for this square. So therefore, uh, this uh, diagonal is going to make uh, this angle 45 degrees and this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And likewise, I have connected uh, this point uh, C with this uh, point B as well. And this way we got another diagonal. So therefore, likewise, uh, this diagonal is going to make uh, this angle 45 degrees uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our this uh, hypotenuse is uh, this diagonal AC. And our other two legs are A and A. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got A square plus uh, A square equal to A c square so therefore a c square turns out to be two times a square and i'm going to undo this uh, square on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our a c length uh, turns out to be a times uh, square root of uh, two so therefore our this diagonal uh, a c length turns out to be a times square root of two and likewise now we are going to focus on this uh, another right triangle b d c whose uh, side lengths are uh, b and b and if we apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, then our this uh, 
b c length uh, is going to be b times square root of 2 as well so therefore our this diagonal b c length turns out to be b times square root of 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole angle uh, a c b is going to be 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is going to give us uh, 90 degrees since this angle turns out to be 90 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, angle uh, subtends uh, this whole uh, arc measurement uh, as 90 degrees uh, as well and here's our next step i have connected uh, this point uh, a with this point uh, b and as a result we got this uh, right uh, triangle uh, abc so therefore let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, abc and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and our two legs are a times square root of 2 and this uh, leg b times square root of 2 and now we are going to calculate uh, its hypotenuse uh, a b so let's go ahead and substitute in this uh, formula so our a value is a times square root of 2 whole uh, square plus uh, b times square root of 2 whole square equals to our diagonal is a b whole square and now we can see 2 is in common so therefore a b square turns out to be 2 times a square plus b square and now from this equation 1 we know our a square plus b square value is 54 so therefore i am going to substitute this a square plus b square value as 54 over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have substituted this uh, value 54 over here so therefore our a b square value turns out to be 108 now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our a b length uh, if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us six times uh, square root of three so therefore our this uh, diagonal uh, a b length turns out to be 6 times square root of 3 and here's our next step i have connected uh, this uh, center o with these points uh, a and b and now let's recall uh, inscribed angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the inscribed uh, angles that intercept the same arc are uh, congruent and here we can see that this uh, angle a o b and this uh, angle uh, a c b intercept the same uh, arc uh, this a b whose measurement is uh, 90 degrees so therefore we conclude that this angle uh, a o b is going to be 90 degrees as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a o b and now we can see that this uh, a o is the radius of this my circle so i'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r and this o b is uh, the radius as well so this is going to be lowercase r as well and now we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our two legs uh, are r and r and our this uh, hypotenuse is six times uh, square root of three so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, r square uh, plus uh, r square is going to be equal to six uh, times square root of uh, three whole uh, square let's simplify so we got two r square on the left hand side equals to 108 on the right hand side let's divide both sides by two so therefore our r square value turns out to be 54 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius and since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle so therefore the semicircle area is going to be pi r square divided by 2 so therefore i can write this one as uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, r square and we know our r square value is 54 so therefore i'm going to substitute this r square value as 54 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 27 times uh, pi 
And finally, let's recall this equation once again. Our green shaded area is going to be equal to the semicircle area minus this pink shaded area. And our uh, semicircle area is 27 times pi and our uh, pink uh, shaded area is 54. So therefore, we are going to substitute in this uh, equation. So this is going to be 27 times pi minus uh, 54. So thus our green shaded area turns out to be 27 pi minus 54 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 30.82 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.